Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some rapid fire impressions on the House of Erosia. And I just want to say really quick that I'm sorry, one for the pretty repetitive background. You guys know that I like to go outside and film, switch it up. I get very bored and like feeling like boxed in when I'm just filming on the same backdrop, the same place all the time. But for some reason it has been storming. Florida went into the hurricane season. The next day it just started pouring constantly. And for the last like, I don't know, maybe like five days, it's just been nonstop rain. So it's actually thunderstorming right now. So I'm sorry, you guys might hear a little bit of that thunder, but I'm putting all my faith in my microphone. So hopefully you guys don't get too much of that background noise. But anyway, this is a house that I get a lot of questions on and I thought it would be fun to do a video where I just grab a whole bunch. I have a full table here full of different bottles and a bunch of samples. I'm going to smell them. Most of them I have not smelled before. So it'll be kind of like my real first impression. So that is going to be the theme of today's video rapid fire impressions of erosion perfume. So let's get into it with one that I've gotten a lot of questions about lately on my Instagram and even some comments on my last video, people saw it sitting in the background. This is a Sola Blue. There's a little bit of a controversy around it, but I'm not going to get into it in this video. I might do a full, full blown impression of it soon, but we'll see. For me, this fragrance is very citrusy. It's very fresh. Honestly, when I really think about it, it's like a mixture for me of like vibrato and 40 knots by Zerja because there's this aspect to it that is, it's not really aquatic, but there's like this almost salty feeling to it. Just like really peppery. It almost makes this like salty feeling like the ocean or something. Um, I don't smell any coconut in this. And I personally think it's a lot better than the fragrance that it is said to be the same of. I don't think they're the same. This one I absolutely love and I'll be talking about it more. Isola Blue, super sexy. Next, we're going to be doing one that I have not smelled. This one is called Burlington 1819. Let's have a little travel size here. Whew, in the air. Hmm, this one is really nice too. Maybe. <laughs> it's still, it's very fresh, but it doesn't, oh, there's something about this, I don't know. It's citrusy. Oh. What is it about this that smells a little bit like gasoline mixed with grass shavings? Like, you know, when you have the, like the riding mower, I used to do that when I was a kid. When you're mowing the grass on the riding mower, this is what this smells like. I don't think I can do it. The gasoline is just not really going away. Okay, Burlington 1819. It could also be a bad sample because I think it's really old. But moving on, this is supposed to be rapid fire, right? So next we have Elysium Parfum, Porom, Porom Parfum, beautiful sprayer. Okay, this one is much better than the last one. I don't know, sometimes when I smell fragrances, like colors pop into my head. And for some reason, when I smell this, the color purple comes into my mind. I don't know why. I definitely smell a lot of apple in this, kind of mixed with like this ambery, leathery facet. I know some people say it's more like a niche version of Blue de Chanel, um, maybe. <laughs> This one is nice. It's definitely, uh, it's, it's unique compared to the other ones that I've smelled. So next we're gonna be trying the United Arab Emirates Parfum. Another little sample that I have. This room is going to smell just fabulous after this. Ooh, in the air. Oh, this one is very different than uh, the last few that I've smelled. Beautiful like rose oud smell. Super classy. Very, very elegant. Very sexy too. Classy sexy. It's like a, Rose Oud, but it has like this very cool twist to it. It definitely feels very like Middle Eastern, like that Middle Eastern twist in here. It's very sexy, very warm and inviting. This is my favorite so far. Not bad. Let's see if we can find one to top that. Okay, next we got Oceania, which I have smelled many, many times, but I wanted to include it. Very aquatic, very fresh, a very easy everyday signature scent for the summer. Just a dumb grab, can be worn in any situation. It's just a really nice elevated everyday scent, I think. Simple, clean, fresh, aquatic. Really good one from Roja. All right, next we got a big bad boy. Amber Oud. Color of the juice says it all, I think. It's like some of the darkest juice I've ever seen. Wow, on this trip it's like purple. God, in the air it's beautiful as well. All these smell so good like that fresh blast in the air. This one is very fancy smelling. It smells very, very rich. 
I feel like this is a fragrance that anyone could wear. I think it's unisex, a man or a woman could wear it. <laughs> Definitely don't spray it on white clothes. This might be one of the best amber fragrances I've ever smelled. I think this one is a masterpiece. I really love this one. And with the price tag, <laughs> you would expect it to be good, right? I think it goes for like $800 or something like that. Next we have Scandal Parfum Cologne. Wow, the sprayer is very different on that one. That's like a giant sprayer. It's kind of spicy in a very like green way. Oh, this one is very old school smelling. Ooh, you guys know how I feel about old school. Very typical like old school fougere, but very herbaceous. There's something spicy about this, like a green spicy. A lot of florals too. I could definitely see it being like a very invigorating scent. Like it would really wake you up in the morning if you sprayed this on. Mm, if you like citrusy floral fougere style fragrances, definitely try it. I can see the appeal behind it. I can see like people that like old school things, why they would like it. But for me, I'm just, I'm not a big old school girl. I'm sorry. I like that this one is a little different. Not for me, but it might be for you. So next we have Creation E. The famous Creation E. This one I already know very well. This is a very, very sexy perfume. This is a baby maker, 100% a baby maker. It is just freaking sexy. It's so classic and modern at the same time that Coca-Cola vibe, kind of bubbly and fun and very dimensional at the same time. This fragrance is a must have. If you want to smell amazing, get Creation E. Let's go ahead and try Manhattan Eau de Parfum. This is one of the newer releases. This is like the ultimate holiday perfume. I don't know why when I smell this, it just reminds me of like Christmassy, cold weather snow, but I do think this is one you could wear in the summer if you really wanted to. There's definitely a strong tobacco in here, but it's more like a green tobacco versus like a pipe tobacco. It might be one of the best recent releases by Roja in the last few years, except I really do love a solo blue. It's very coconutty with some ginger, musky and peppery. I can't stop smelling it. It's good. Okay, now we get some Herod's exclusives. We'll start with Herod Poram Parfum. Mm, okay, it needs to dry a little. <laughs> it's very upscale smelling. It smells very unique, very different than any of the other ones that I've smelled so far. It's very natural and very classy smelling. I don't know what else to say other than that. It just smells very like rich, very classy, an occasion scent. Something that you'd wanna wear a suit and tie for, I think. Now we have Bergdorf Goodman. Another exclusive. I guess this one wasn't a Harrods exclusive. This is a Bergdorf Goodman exclusive, <laughs> as the name would imply. Yeah, okay, so this one for me smells like a combination of many of Roja's like Fougere style. Like it smells like a few of their other fragrances mixed together. It's very, very woody and very earthy, but I like this more than I like the Harrods, I'll say. Pour on. It's like a very cuddly scent. Okay, now I have a sample. Let's try Great Britain. I'm assuming this is a very old sample based on the color of this juice. I don't think I've smelled this one before. Most of these I haven't smelled. Ooh, all right, this one smells super old school. It's kind of like a slightly animalic floral note in here, I think. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what it is about the old school stuff. It just puts me off. I don't know if I'm just like traumatized or something from the old man smell, but. This is another fragrance that I think would work really well if it's for an occasion, like a gala or a wedding or something. Like I could see it being a very beautiful wedding day scent or something like that, but just for every day, I don't know. A little mature, I would definitely wear it for something that's a little more special. All right, we got our last fragrance here. This is the RDHP 15, which I'm not exactly sure what that means, <laughs> what the abbreviation is. Please let me know in the comments. Please help me out. The color is a little more mild in this one. Okay, so this one is much fresher than the last few. It's kind of like a green spicy scent. I'm not exactly sure where this spice is coming from, but it's pretty sharp. I like this one. Yeah, this is definitely more of a office scent that you, I think this one's a little more versatile. You could pull this one off in some different situations. This one is on my list. This one's really sexy and it's unique, I think. So it's like when someone's, if you were walking by wearing this, I'd be like, I haven't smelled that before. Who is that guy? Yeah, really good. I like that one a lot. So you guys, <laughs> that was my first attempt at a rapid fire video. Let me know in the comments if you like this type of video. And also if there's any other rapid fire brands that you'd like to see, 
name a house and I can get some samples and do this kind of video. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, leave a comment below what house you'd like to see. And if you like this type of video, what is your favorite Rosier fragrance? I would love to know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.